What's happening guys and girls? Hey, if you watched my last video, you probably saw that I installed 37 inch tires on my Jeep Gladiator, but the track bar was in the way. So what to do? I didn't know, I was a little worried about it. And a wonderful YouTuber commented and said, hey, Clayton Off-Road makes a track bar that has a bend in it. So I contacted them and I purchased this track bar from them. Here you go, Clayton Off-Road that will give me space around the spare tire. So I'm pumped about that. Terry's gonna install the track bar from Clayton Off-Road. I'm also gonna add some five inch Mopar lights. And then after that, I'm gonna add the tow, the new brand new Mopar tow brake for trailers or trailer brake, if you will. So let's get in here, let's get Terry started and see how this track bar from Clayton Off-Road works out. So here Terry and I are opening up the new Mopar 5 inch off-road light which complements my 7 inch lights that I have on the front bumper. Those are extremely bright, they're made by Mopar so I decided to add the 5 inch. And as we can see Terry found a place on the rear where we can mount one of the 5 inch lights because I only need one. I have the WeBoost on the passenger side. Um, passenger side mounting area where you normally would put one of these lights. So I only need one up front and now we're gonna wire one up in the rear. We'll connect that and I will have a backup light. Um, I'm gonna hook that to auxiliary button three and so that way it's not tied into the reverse. So if I'm in the city or in a parking lot, it won't come on and blind people. But I'll have some nice light behind me for whenever I'm backing up in the wilderness or camping in my campsites behind me or I need to check out something on my trailer. So thanks to Terry for finding this awesome spot under the bumper. The screw that came with the five inch Mopar light fits in the rear bumper there. There's actually a spot for it, which is absolutely amazing. One great thing about these Mopar lights is they give you a wonderful light cover to keep them clean and legal when on the road. All right, now Terry's gonna take off the stock track bar and we're gonna open up and put on the Clayton Off-Road adjustable track bar, which has a bend in it. And that bend serves the purpose of working its way around the oversized spare tire. My tires, again, are 37 inches, so this will allow you to not take up bed space. And considering I am a nomad or a traveler, I need all of my bed space, and I didn't wanna use a tire in the bed anywhere i wanted to keep it underneath in the stock position so shout out big shout out to clayton off-road for making this bar thank you thank you thank you and terry is doing a great job of getting it all lined up so it will work smoothly both on road and off road had to call in a little help to actually finalize this track bar install I like this bracket. That looks jam up, Terry. Push it, push it down.
Probably needs to dry a little bit. We have the five inch pillar light mounted, which is amazing. And we have the new track bar in. So Terry's gone to the parts department to pick up the trailer brake controller. We're gonna insert that into the dash where the 12 volt is now, where you plug in your cigarette lighter thing. And we're gonna move that out. And we're gonna have to add a new 12 volt port because yes, you do lose the 12 volt port because that's where you mount the trailer brake. And this is the Mopar trailer brake. So we're gonna grab that put it in here and I'll be ready to tow my new Airstream trailer. All right, so we're inside the Gladiator. So this is the 12 volt port to the left of your up and down window controls above your off-road controls if you have a Rubicon. So we're gonna remove this Put the trailer brake right here and then I've got to relocate this and I've lucked out. I've got a part here that's going to work so I can hopefully mount it on the side flush mount because you don't want to lose the 12 volt DC in case you have to charge something. Me, I run the GPS, I also run the Weeboo. So we're going to pull this panel off, get started and see how this goes. So Terry and I decided that we are gonna mount the 12 volt under the carpet, or under the carpet, passenger side, tuck it, and then just run the wire out. So he thinks he can make it happen. It's gonna be a perfect spot for it, and I can still plug up my GPS and my Weeboo system. So this will be a win, and we'll be able to hide the wires. Let's we'll see if he can actually do it. So without a trailer hooked up, you won't get any lights on your dial. But once the trailer's hooked up, it will light up. And as you can see, we just plug the trailer up. Probably to like three. Right. And then drive about 15, 20 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. Don't hit your brakes, just push this. And if your back wheels lock up, then you need to dial it back down. If they doesn't feel like it's stopping you fast enough, then you can turn this up until it locks them up, then back it off like one or one and a half. Okay, and a half. so that's how you set it. Yeah. That looks pretty solid. It turned out good, Terry, real good. I appreciate your hard work more than you know. See, I told you you could do all that in one day.
All right, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this video. It was fun to make. I'm actually lighting myself with the one driver side five inch Mopar light. So it puts off tons of light. If you need to make videos, you can use it for that. If you need to light the trail, you can use it for that. So hopefully you got some good information out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would, you like the content, subscribe. Would love to have you along for the ride. Hey, get out there, hit the trails, live your life. Be wild, have fun. See you later.